So the 2022 Pro Bowl roster has been announced. I will say, and I understand why they do it. We have made huge strides in the NFL world as far as player safety. But the Pro Bowl is such a joke now. Nobody plays. There's no tackling hardly. There's no nothing. So it's more like a a popularity contest. Yeah. It's more to see who's on the roster. And I like the fun little games they play like dodgeball and shit. But I don't know if people really tune in to watch the Pro Bowl anymore. It's not that fun. Either way, one thing I will say I'm excited for is the jerseys. Have you ever seen some of these Pro Bowl jerseys? Fire. Bro? Have you seen my Lamar Jackson Pro Bowl jersey? Mm, I don't think so. Dude, it's like, it's like a matte silver with gold on it. It's fire. So I'm excited to see. I don't think we have a single Lions player on that Pro Bowl roster. I would be very shocked if we did. But hey, I do want to cop one of these jerseys, so we'll see. Yeah, uh, let's check it out. These literally just came out. Yeah. The NFC Pro Bowl roster by position, three quarterbacks, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, and Kyler Murray. That makes sense to me. Yeah, I like that. For who sure. do you guys, chat? who do you think is the biggest snub? Who's the biggest snub on the Pro Bowl rosters here? Running backs, Dalvin Cook, James Conner, Alvin Kamara. You know what's crazy here about James Conner? He almost didn't get picked up. There was a point when he he came in, subbed in on the Steelers when uh, Le'Veon Bell wasn't playing, and he played great. Mm -hmm. And after he was released by the Steelers, it was almost like, is he even going to go to a team? Now he's a Pro Bowl running back. Absolutely beautiful there. Love to see it. Wide receivers? Wow. That's literally like the, probably like the four best wide receivers in football right now. Yeah, I really like that. You kind of need Tyree Kill, but Jesus, the NFC is stacked. Cooper Cup, Devontae Adams, Justin Jefferson, Debo Samuel. That's sick. NFC wide receivers are fucking stacked. Austin Eckler, did not make a Pro Bowl. That's got to be the biggest snub, by the way. George Kittle, Kyle Pitts. I can't say I'm too shocked by that either. Tight ends have been uh, tight ends have been pretty shallow in the NFL, in my personal opinion. Like the depth for tight ends. It's basically yeah. like Travis Kelsey, Darren Waller, George Kittle, Kyle Pitts maybe, and everybody else is like as good as each other. Whereas like wide receiver, you have so many studs. Offensive tackle, Trent Williams for sure having an amazing year. Werfs is playing so good. And Tyron Smith. I feel like Tyron Smith has been a Pro Bowl offensive tackle for like 10 straight years now. Very impressive. Offensive guard, Zach. Zach Martin, same with him. Him and Tyron Smith have probably been Pro Bowl for 10 straight years. Brandon Scherf and Ali Marpet. I like to see it. Little popularity contest here. I'm seeing two Cowboys, two Buccaneers. Jason Kelsey, Ryan Jensen. There's our third Buccaneer. Listen, it's easy when fucking Tom Brady goes your team, all right? Fullback is Kyle Juicy Juice. No shocker here. No Lions players. That's the only shock to me. Oh, yeah. It's a Although, big shocker. Although, it might be our punter. Our oh. punter might be Pro Bowl. I guess I don't Surprise know yet. Surprise golf isn't in there. <laughs> He's in, he's in the toilet bowl for the Pro Bowl. Yeah. They have their own, they have the shittiest. They should, NFL should do that. It should be the Pro Bowl, but the shittiest players. That'd be <laughs> oh, fucked up. We could do a clip of that. But then, they, so, so all the other teams who hate somebody, they all vote for that guy. So like everybody would vote Tom Brady in to the oh, toilet bowl. Yep. And he'd yeah, have to roll, he'd have to is, show up. That's true. Although I think all Lions fans would just vote Jared Goff anyway. Probably. Defensive end, Nick Bosa, Brian Burns, and Cameron Jordan. Yeah, Brian Burns and Shaq Thompson have had had very quiet, very good years. The problem is they're on the Panthers, so they don't get talked about, but they've been solid. Cameron Jordan continues to be incredible. He is indestructible. That guy does not get injured. Interior lineman, Aaron Donald, Jonathan Allen, Kenny Clark. Makes sense to me. I figured Aaron Donald would be on here. There should, there's probably going to be three Rams on here, at least two. Chandler Jones, Robert Quinn, and Shaquille Barrett. Outside linebacker. Shaquille Barrett uh, was a UDFA. Isn't that fucking crazy? An undrafted free agent, wow. I believe. Weren't you saying that about Connor, too? Who? James Connor? Yeah. No. I don't actually know when James Conner got drafted. He did get released by the Steelers, though. Like, oh, okay. he, he wasn't getting picked saying. up by anybody. Yeah, yeah, that's maybe that's what you're saying. I don't know. when Guys, when did uh, Shaquille Barrett get drafted? No, he was undrafted, bro. That is insane. That is actually insane. Being a UDFA running back, that's understandable. A lot of running backs are replaceable. You know, Craig Reynolds is doing well for the Lions. James Robinson's done well. But to be an elite edge rusher in the NFL undrafted is fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. That is not Corners, Trayvon Diggs, we figured. Jalen Ramsey, Darius Slay, Marshawn Lattimore. Damn, oh, they're that's so stacked. That's this is so stacked, stacked. Corner. dude. I don't corner know what the AFC is gonna have, but I would be impressed if they got better shit than this. NFC looks like it's just gross. Quandre Diggs, okay, I kind of see that. Buda Baker, Harrison Smith. Quandre Diggs used to be a lion. Buda Baker, Harrison Smith. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Special teams? Nope, we didn't even get special teams. Nope. <laughs> Josh Harris, the long snapper. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Brian Anger and uh, Matt Gay. Jakeem Grant, Chicago Bears, and JT Gray, Saints. Yeah, we literally didn't get anything we are else all right Sorry. well let's check out the afc herbert mahomes lamar jackson okay i think i like these quarterbacks better it was tom brady aaron Rodgers, kyler murray we, ha we have to do a head-to-head -head matchup on all of these. i don't know the i think the other quarterbacks are more um like reliable so they're white <laughs> yeah i, I guess. guess kyler murray's half white Is like he? like yeah, just like all three of these quarterbacks haven't i guess aaron Rodgers hasn't been like this first game but all the other quarterbacks i think are like just set in stone like always making like 
always good. Yeah, I hear you. Lamar Jackson has games where he's throwing four picks, four That's picks, factual. turning it over way too much. Justin Herbert, I think he's just starting to get actually. I mean, he's good. Yeah, I guess good, you have both but. MVP quarterbacks in the NFC. You got to okay, you're right. We got to go NFC for quarterbacks. Yeah. Also, Micah Parsons snubbed for linebackers on the NFC. Ooh, Micah Parsons is so good. Yeah, running backs: Jonathan Taylor, Nick Chubb, Joe Mixon. I take these running backs any day of the week. By the way, Austin Eckler's not even in here. I think it should be Austin Eckler over Joe Mixon, but Jonathan Taylor and Nick Nick Chubb's already one of my favorite running backs in the league. Jonathan Taylor's been incredible this year. Running backs, AFC, way better. In my opinion. Yeah. Wide receivers, Tyreek Hill, Jamar Chase, Diggs, and Keenan Allen. Very, very good, but I take the NFC That's wide receivers. Solid. I take the NFC wide receivers any day of the week. Tight ends, Mark Andrews, Travis Kelsey. Woo! I think you take tight ends here. I think Travis Kelsey is better than George Kittle, and I think Mark Andrews is better than Kyle Pitts. Yeah. So just straight up head to head. I really like Mark Tight ends Andrews. are better here. Offensive tackle, Rashawn Slater. He's been super good. Orlando Brown and Deion Dawkins. I take the tackles from the NFC. Offensive guard, Quentin Nelson, Batonio, and Wyatt Teller. I'm definitely taking the AFC. Those Browns O-linemen are freaks, and Quentin Nelson's amazing. Everybody knows Quentin Nelson's amazing. I mean, those are the that's the offensive line for two of the best running backs in the league, so that should tell you something. Center, Corey Lindsey, Ryan Kelly. Yeah, I don't know shit about centers. I don't have an opinion on that one. Patrick Ricard. I'm taking Juicy Juice, bro. Kyle Juicy Juice. Miles Garrett, Mad Max, Crosby, Trey Hendrickson. I don't know who I'd pick on this one. I can't decide on this one. Interior lineman, I'm taking the NFC, just because of Aaron Donald, to be honest. He's that good. And Kenny Clark's really good. Linebackers. Ooh, they're calling Joey Bosa an outside linebacker. I didn't realize that. I figured he'd be a defensive end. Say, Deion. That's a solid uh, solid squad right there, yeah. though. Holy I'm fuck. taking outside linebackers from the AFC, but corners, no fucking shot. I'm taking the AFC corners. NFC corners are better by a million. Yeah, holy shit, actually. Jalen Ramsey, Marshawn Lattimore are better than everybody on that list. Maybe not J.C. Jackson. J.C. Jackson's been pretty good. So is Xavier Howard, but not Denzel Ward, not Kenny Moore. Uh-uh. Kevin Byard at free safety. I take him over Quandre Diggs. And then Derwin James and Tyran Matthew. Luke Rhodes, Lana Rhodes' brother. It's not true. <laughs> That's not true. AJ Cole, Justin Tucker, the GOAT, Devin DuVernay, Matthew Slater. Interesting. I like it. That was a good one. That was solid, dude. You know, I kind of feel like Micah Hyde should have been somewhere in here. I feel like Micah Hyde definitely should have been somewhere in here. Josh Allen, no, I disagree. I don't think Josh Allen should have been in there. Dallas Goddard snubbed. Yeah. Dallas Goddard had a really tough start of the year. He's been super good, but the first six games, he was ass, dude. And they also still had Zach Ertz. Right. Well, that's our uh, that's the Pro Bowl rosters. Let us know who you think was the biggest snub. Yeah. I think it's Eckler, though. I think Austin. Austin Eckler should be in there over Joe Mixon.